My name is Dr. Patak. My team and I are excited to have published an article in Medical Devices, Evidence and Research demonstrating the inhibition of bacterial attachment and biofilm formation by a new intravascular catheter material. Now let's step back a second and ask why this is important. The CDC reports about 250,000 cases of bloodstream infections occur yearly related to intravascular devices such as this. And this places a huge burden both financially and on patient care to the hospitals. Now, our skin normally harbors staph bacteria. When catheters pass through our skin to be placed into our veins, these bacteria can attach to the cannula. Think of that. One in six of these catheters is already contaminated by bacteria from the skin even before they enter our bloodstream. Now, these intravascular catheters are mostly made of polyurethane. Polyurethane has been recently shown to contain additives that facilitate bacterial attachment, meaning that when it comes to bacteria, these are very sticky. Our study was de uh, designed to compare polyurethane catheters to a new material called Chronoflex C with BioGuard, used for making intravascular catheters. Now these are processed to remove sticky additives from, our, from its surfaces. Additionally, this new material undergoes a surface treatment called micropatterning, which has been shown to discourage bacterial attachment and growth. To the naked eye, the Chronoflex catheter is smooth as silk, but to a bacterium, it is craggy and irregular. Our experiment was designed to mimic what happens when catheters pick up bacteria as they pass through the skin. To do this, we devised a skin model with bacteria closely resembling staph. We passed the Chronoflex C and polyurethane catheters through this model and allowed them to incubate for 48 hours. And then we examined them using advanced fluorescent microscopic techniques. We used two different kinds of dye so that we could determine the degree of bacterial attachment as well as to see if the attached bacteria were alive or dead. You can see what we found. The polyurethane catheters demonstrated over five times more bacterial attachment than the Chronoflex catheters. Moreover, those bacteria that were able to attach to Chronoflex catheters were likely to die more than 1.5 times as compared to the polyurethane catheters. We suspect that if our results were replicated in a controlled setting, Chronoflex C with BioGuard will become central to the fight against catheter-related bloodstream infections. I hope you enjoyed reading this study.